Hello, everybody. How are you doing today? Let's learn Japanese with NHK learning materials. First, let's check this video with Japanese. And the second, I explain each word and meaning in English. And sadly, let's watch it again and remember useful Japanese sentence. And finally, let's practice to speak in Japanese. This is very important, of course, to improve your Japanese speaking ability. Let's learn Japanese together step by step, of course, with having fun. Let's try it. Okay, now at the beginning, let's check this video with Japanese. Arusan House? すみません。春山ハウスはどこですか？春山ハウス。あれ、僕たちのうちだよね。すぐ近くです。一緒に行きましょう。こっちだよ。はい、ありがとうございます。Did you get it? Could you understand this Japanese? Okay, now. Secondly, I explain each word and meaning in English. So let's understand each word as an expression in Japanese step by step together. So let's check first Japanese. Sumimasen. This expression in Japanese. Sumimasen. That means in English, excuse me. So this is very useful Japanese word. Sumimasen. That means in English, excuse me. So when we try to ask something to people, first three, we're gonna say this Japanese. Sumimasen. Okay, you got it? So let's check next expression Japanese. Did you get it? Harusan house wa doko desu ka? This means in English, where is Harusan house? So I will explain each word. In Japanese, doko means in English, where? And Harusan house. Is say Harrison House and this ka means question sentence. So when you ask something the place or destination, you will use this Harrison House where doko desu ka. So when you rephrase. Harusan house to other destination you want to go. This is gonna be very useful sentence. So let's practice to replace destination. So this is practice. So if you ask where is airport in Japanese, how do you say? You just replace Harusan House to airport, which is in Japanese we say Kuko. Kuko means airport in English. So if you, you want to ask where is airport in Japanese, you will say Kuko wa doko desu ka? Kuko wa doko desu ka? Now it's your turn. Please practice speaking in English. Kuko wa doko desu ka? Did you do that? Okay. Let's check another sentence, next sentence together. Harusan house? 
So, this guy repeated Harvestan house. But at the end of the sentence, the tone was going up. Harvestan house? So, he just repeated. Harvestan house? So, the aim of the reason why this guy repeated that sentence is to check the destination just for safety. Because this lady is asked, Where is the Harusan house? Then he repeated, Harusan house. Did you get it? Now let's, to, let's check to next sentence. So, next sentence in Japanese. Are? This Japanese means in English. Oh, our house, isn't it? Dayone. Sometimes we Japanese use dayone at the end of the sentence. This means isn't it? Isn't it? Okay. So, are? Bokutachi no uchi da yo ne? In English, that means, oh, our house, isn't it? So, this guy's confirmed it to this lady. Maybe she is his wife or girlfriend. So, he was checking to her. Oh, our house, isn't it? Are? Bokutachi no uchi da yo ne? Did you get it? So let's check another sentence. Next sentence. Did you catch up that Japanese? Sugu chikaku desu. Issho ni ikimashou. Sugu chikaku desu means it's very near in English. So chikaku means near. Very means totemo. So, very near. In Japanese, totemo chikaku. And it's this. Okay? And, issho ni ikimashou. In English, let's go together. Let's go means ikimashou in Japanese. Together means issho ni. So, totally, this means issho ni ikimashou in Japanese. Did you get it? So, I will ask another question. So, how do you say? So, how do you say in Japanese about this English sentence? Let's go to the airport together. Let's go to the airport together. So, in Japanese, what do you say? Let's remember previous sentence. Issho ni ikimashou. In English means, let's go together. So, the difference is, let's go is the same. To the airport means, airport in Japanese means, kuko. Kuko ni. Together, issho ni, let's go, ikimashou. Did you get it? So, kuko ni issho ni ikimashou. Repeat after me. Kuko ni issho ni ikimashou. In English, let's go to the airport together. So, if you replace this part, something different, you will invite somebody to go there together. Right? So, could you understand this Japanese sentence? Kouen ni issho ni ikimashou. In English, this means, let's go to the park together. Kouen means park in English. So, let's go to the airport together. Means, kuko ni issho ni ikimashou. Let's go to the park together. Means, kouen ni issho ni ikimashou. Did you get? 
And、uh, you're gonna use this very useful sentence in Japan. Okay, now let's check next Japanese sentence. こっちだよはい、ありがとうございます。Okay, the first, こっちだよ。This guy said. こっちだよ。This means in English, this way. Means in Japanese, こっちだよ This way, こっち Did you get it? And yes, means in Japanese, はい Okay? And thank you very much in Japanese, どうもありがとうございます Because they were so kind. To ask her to go together to the Haru-chan house. So she said, Thank you very much. どうもありがとうございます Did you get it? Okay, now let's review what we learned today. Excuse, excuse me in Japanese means, すいません Right? So when we try to speak to somebody, we're gonna say first read this sentence in Japanese. すいません。Then, do you remember this sentence in Japanese means? Where is Haru-san house? Where means in Japanese, どこ Is means Japanese, this. And Haru-san house is same, Haru-san house. So, in Japanese, we say, Haru-san house は So, in Japanese question sentence, we put ka at the end of the sentence, and of course, it is the same as English. The tone at the end will be go up. Harusan house wa doko desu ka? Did you get it? Okay. So, next. Sentence. This guy said, Harusan house. This also the, at the end of the sentence, the tone is going up, right? Harusan house. This is kind of a reconfirmation to this lady. Harusan house. Then, this guy said, Ah,、oh, our house, isn't it? In Japanese, ah, watashi tachi no ie da yo ne? Da yo ne? So, da yo ne means to confirm something to other people. So, this guy confirmed that point to this lady. Ah, watashi tachi no ie da yo ne? He said. Then, this lady said, it's very near. In Japanese, do you remember? Sugu, chikaku desu. Right? Sugu, chikaku desu means it's very near. Okay? Then, this lady is very kind. That's why she said, let's go together. Do you remember, let's go together. In Japanese, isho ni. If I write down Ishoni Ikimasho in Japanese, this is that. This is it. As you may know, Japanese people use three types of letters. One is kanji, another one is hiragana, another one is katakana. So we Japanese using three types of letters. So, I think it's gonna be very complicated for you to learn Japanese, but it's okay. Let's learn step by step. So, let's remember, Isho ni ikimasho means let's go together. Okay? And this guy said, Kochi da yo. That means in English, this way. Very simple, right? Kochi da yo means this way. Let's remember. 
Then this lady expressed thankfulness to, the, to them by saying, Hi, domo arigato. Means, hi means yes. Thank you very much. Means, domo arigato. You can also say, thank you. It is a shortened type of express thanksness. But if you put very much, domo, if you use domo, means more polite to express your thankfulness to the people. So, casual way to say thank you is arigato. More polite way to express thankfulness to other people is domo arigato, means thank you very much. Arigato means thank you. Okay, so I hope that you get this very useful Japanese sentence. So let's try to understand this conversation in Japanese, but this time without subtitles. Okay, let's try to understand Japanese this time without subtitles, only listening Japanese. すみません。春さんハウスはどこですか。春さんハウス。あれ、僕たちの家だよね。すぐ近くです。一緒に行きましょう。こっちだよ。はい、ありがとうございます。Did Okay, finally, let's practice to speak in Japanese because practice speaking in Japanese is best way and the simplest way to improve Japanese speaking ability. So let's practice one by one. Okay? すみません. Now let's practice this sentence. すみません. Now it's your turn. Please say it. Did you say it? Sumimasen means excuse me. Now check other Japanese. Harusan house wa doko desu ka? Okay, now let's practice speak this Japanese sentence. Harusan house wa doko desu ka? Now it's your turn. Did you say it? Harusan house wa doko desu ka? In English? Where is Harusan house? Okay. Okay, now let's do next Japanese sentence. Harusan house? Okay. Then let's practice to speak Japanese. Harusan house? The point is at its end, the tone is going up. So this is a reconfirmation where she wants to go. Okay. Harusan house? Harusan house. Now it's your turn. Did you say it? Okay, now let's let's check next Japanese. Okay, let's practice this sentence. Are? Are? Means he is showing something. One wondering, are you? Oh, in, in English, like, uh, oops, oh, oh, like that. Are you? Our house, isn't it? Now he is confirming to her. Our house, isn't it? Isn't it means dione? Dione? This is kind of a confirmation explanation, expression, okay? So let's practice speaking in Japanese. Are? Bokutachi no uchi da yo ne. Now it's your turn. Did you say it? Okay, now let's check next Japanese. Sugu chikaku desu. Issho ni ikimashou. Okay, sugu chikaku desu. 
一緒に行きましょう。すぐ近くです。means in English, it's very near. 一緒に行きましょう。means let's go together. Now, let's try to speak Japanese. Please repeat after me. すぐ近くです。一緒に行きましょう。Now it's your turn. Did you say it? Okay. Then, we're gonna check next Japanese. こっちだよ。はい。ありがとうございます。Okay. Now, こっちだよ。This guy said, こっちだよ means this way. Now, let's try to speak Japanese out loud. こっちだよ。こっちだよ。Now, it's your turn. Did you say it? Then, she said, はい。ありがとうございます。In English? はい means yes. ありがとうございます means thank you very much. はい、ありがとうございます。はい、ありがとうございます。Now it's your turn. Did you say it? Good. That's all for today's Japanese learning class with me. How was it? Did you enjoy and could you get used to Japanese sentence? If you think so, please subscribe my channel. I try to upload other videos for you to learn useful Japanese sentence with NHK learning materials. I hope you will check my next video as well. I hope you will improve your Japanese skills step by step. Of course, don't forget having fun. Again, thank you very much for watching my video till the end. Have a good day and stay healthy. Goodbye.